Along the lines of auditing a worksheet, you're going to run into scenarios where you've got calculations that span across multiple worksheets. And if I want to be able to audit something that moves across multiple worksheets, I need a way to be able to keep an eye on one worksheet and perhaps a value on one worksheet while I work on other worksheets. Now, in the past, if I were to do something like this, take a look. I've got the example file open. I'm on the watch window worksheet. And this cell right here, this $176,211, is actually a reference to another cell. I look at my formula bar here at the top that lives on the worksheet next door called formula auditing. It's referencing cell F10 on the formula auditing worksheet. Now, I want to keep an eye on this value here as I change things on the formula auditing worksheet. So I jump into here, I make a change. Let's see, I change this 6,900 to 7,000. Hit my enter key. And now I got to jump back to my watch window worksheet and notice, oh, it went up by 100 bucks from uh, 176,211 to 176,311. So now I'm doing this kind of back and forth game to keep an eye on this value here as I make adjustments in other locations that affect this cell. That back and forth, very manual. Something that I really don't want to do, but it's something that we probably do again and again. Now, rather than that back and forth game, we're going to take a look at a feature here that's called the watch window. It's going to allow us to open up a separate window, mark a cell, such as B2 here, this 176,000, mark it as a cell that I want to watch as I work in other worksheets. Take a look. This is super simple. So I'm on the watch window worksheet. I'm going to select cell B2. I've got it selected there. I'm going to go up to my formula tab. Inside the formula auditing section, I'm going to go to the watch window. Looks like a little box with a pair of glasses. I'll give that a click. This opens up my watch window. I currently don't have anything in there, so I'm going to add a watch. And it wants to know, well, hey, which cell do you want to watch? Which one do you want to tag that you can continue to watch as you work inside of other worksheets? Well, I've already had B2 selected, so it's got it there. I'm going to hit Add. And I've now got reference to that cell. I can see that it's inside of this this workbook, it's on this sheet called the watch window sheet, it's cell B2. It's currently got a value of 176,311, and here's the formula that makes up that, that value. Now, this window is always open now. I hop over to formula auditing, I make a change. Let's say I go from 7,000 back to 6,900. Now, watch this window over here. This is the watch window, right? Watch this value. I'm going to hit my enter key, and rather than having to go back to the watch window worksheet to check the update, I can just see it right here. Now we're back to 176,211. Really simple. Select a cell that you want to watch as you work in other worksheets. Open up the add watch window, add a watch. You've now marked that cell, and now as you work in other locations within these more complex, larger Excel documents, I make updates, and I can watch those cells that are important to me. So another technique to help us audit these larger Excel workbooks. Try this out. Open up the example file, add a watch, jump over to the watch window, add one to that cell, and then go back and make some adjustments on the formula auditing worksheet. And use that watch window to help you keep an eye on those cells and the values that you're looking at. Try it out.